Hey, what's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end, and I'm back at y'all with another video. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel and want to become a member of the Hoodlum Gang, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave me a comment, share the video, tell a friend to tell a friend, hit that notification bell, and go on over to IG and follow me at Hoodie from the Hood. Um. <clears throat> Side note, I heard that J. Cole diss. That's nice. I don't know if y'all been up on that. Uh, Kendrick, I'm quite sure you got something in the chamber. Otherwise, why else would you start this whole beef? You ain't really started. It been going on with you and Drake, but you kind of threw Cole in there. He came with some bars, man. So I'm ready to see how that turned out. That's just something that got nothing to do with the topic. Um... Now let's get into the topic at hand. Um, this, this is a video that I seen a few days ago with a uh, Smack and T-Rail, the Back on Fig uh, podcast. It's, it's kind of, I, I guess it's viral right now. Um, somehow, some way, T-Rail ended up on the phone having words with Charleston White. Now, <laughs> Charleston is another dude that I really don't pay attention to and, and try not to even shine no light on what he got going on because it's it's all bs you know what i'm saying um my main question is how is charleston white still a thing at this point like i get it it was it was something new you know he was wild he was saying whatever um but i feel like he's a one-trick pony he ain't brought nothing else to the internet. Uh, nothing positive, nothing constructive. None of the stuff that he actually tried to tell you he was doing in the beginning. He ain't brought none of that to the internet. All he's brought is chaos, uh, viral moments, and disrespect. But that just lets you know how childish a lot of people are or, or how much of clowns people are that actually feed into this. Um... Like I said, I seen a clip with um, Bosco the other day saying the same thing. Like, you don't do nothing but perpetuate the stuff that you claim to be against in the black community. Every time you get into it with somebody, you get disrespectful. You start threatening gunplay. You start talking about people's mamas and their kids. Like, who does that, bro? How you care about the black community and this is what you do? If you, you get into it, I understand the gang members. You don't like the gang members. All right, we get it. That's cool. You get into it with somebody and start disrespecting their kids, innocent ass kids that have nothing to do with the life that you claim to hate. This nigga really just don't like black people because you really never seen Charleston White going at no white people. He won't say nothing about no white people. His whole thing is to target niggas every time. Like I said, you, you didn't got into it with people that have nothing to do with nothing over a misunderstanding. The first thing you do is say, fuck they babies. Like, come on, bro. And people are still like, championing this dude not no real niggas obviously goofballs like i said y'all champion this dude like he's some type of fucking voice or savior like i don't get it bro i don't get it but the even more confusing thing like i said is why would t real and smack even entertain this dude like what is the point in getting on here i don't know if he called in or if they called him if it was set up that way What's the point of even entertaining this dude, homie? He going to pop it. He going to get disrespectful. He going to make you want to hurt the nigga. He way somewhere else. What's the point of even going back and forth with him? Like I said, I don't know what the original problem was, but the fact that t Real is on here getting into it with him, meaning getting disrespected, and you got smack jumping around on the side like, like a cheerleader, like, like, this is the best shit he ever heard. Homie, t Real supposed to be your homeboy. Y'all damn near from the same hood. And Charleston is dissing that. And you sitting here hopping up and down, in and out of your chair, like this is the best shit ever. You taking it like he going at t Real, he going at y'all section, he going at California, he going at the lifestyle that you claim to portray, homie. And you sitting there laughing like this shit is a joke. 
the little bit that I saw, like I said, I don't listen to that dude. The little clip that I saw on Instagram where he was like, I didn't said fuck Tookie Williams, Raymond Washington. Like he, he is saying fuck all that, bro. Like what is y'all even? This the type of shit that makes me question if they even real friends, homie, or if this is just a convenience or uh, if it's just financial or whatever. Like, is you niggas even really homies? I seen. I remember when T. Real was in the hospital. Did he have a broken leg or something? And he called in, and T. Real played it for the whole chat to hear while he on the phone crying. Like, they do weird shit to each other that makes me just be like, that can't be your friend. You know that old saying, with friends like that, with friends like those who, who needs enemies, that's, that. them two niggas right there is the prime example of that saying right there. Like, come on, homie. I don't get it, man. I It already... It catches me off when I see niggas that's supposed to be homies calling each other the B word. They do that a lot. And this is why I don't play like that because it go from. Man, shut your bitch ass up and it's all jokes. But then when y'all get mad at each other and you, you, you know, it's not what you say it's how you say it. Then all of a sudden it's yeah, bitch, you bitch ass nigga. And you saying it with aggression. They do that to each other all the time. I didn't seen T Rail's wife get at smack sideways, smack then got at her sideways, calling her all types of bitches. Like, I don't understand what's going on over there. Are you niggas friends or not? Like, what I don't know, bro. That shit just was a bad look. Call me then T Rail sitting there talking about, yeah, you might get a DP for that. Like he like you want this nigga to get his ass whooped by y'all homies. Oh, you letting them dish, you letting them diss. Nigga, you letting them dish. You laughing. I had seen something else where they said Smack is a hypocrite because he was talking about Brick Baby letting somebody diss, but you sat there and laughed. With, I understand he wasn't in your presence, homie, but you sitting there laughing while he dissing what y'all represent. He dissing your homeboy and his shit. I don't know, man. This, I, this, this is why I just, I try to stay on my own little because I don't, I don't understand this YouTube shit, bro. I get it. Motherfuckers want to go viral. Niggas want views. But at the same time, y'all compromising who y'all say y'all are. But it makes me question, are you really that in the first place, homie? Because that ain't it. That ain't it, homie. I just, I don't know, man. Obviously, I'm not from their section, nor do I care for it. But just listening the way... Charleston White is 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 getting at them is disgusting, homie. And the fact that your so-called homeboy is sitting here laughing like, yeah, yeah, like like cheering it on, homie. And then basically like that's on you type shit. Like you don't feel offended that he talking to your boy like that? Y'all can't be friends. Anybody talking to a nigga close to me like that, I'm going to feel offended, bro, as if they talking to me because it's my partner, this my bro, we won. As close as y'all seem to be, y'all also seem like y'all got something against each other. These are the type of relationships that when they finally fall out, they're going to expose everything about each other. Keep your friends close, your enemies closer. Is that what this is? You niggas is enemies keeping each other close. I don't know, man. Like I said, hey, I, I, if y'all like it, I don't love it. But that's on y'all. It's not my place. That's y'all business on me. It's just shit that I see that I just be like, what the fuck is this? What's going on here, homie? Because at the end of the day, no matter where you from, no matter if I fuck with your side or not, homie, you from California. So... It's going to look like that to the outside world. It just it just looks messy, homie. It just look like some bullshit, homie. So I don't know. That's all I got for the video. Y'all let me know if y'all been up on that. Like, comment, subscribe, all that notification I already told you. Let me know in the comments below how y'all felt about seeing that little interaction with Back on Fig and Charleston White. And if y'all had a friend like Smack, and T-Real, because T-Real be doing stuff to smack. If y'all had a friend like that, 
would you not feel like that was a friend of me? Or would you really feel like that's your boy that's going to go to war for you, but he laughing at you and cheering a weird ass nigga on while y'all getting into it on y'all channel that y'all, y'all platform that y'all built together. That type of stuff could ruin y'all credibility. It'll make your subscribers be like, I'm cool off that channel. But like I said, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, a.k.a. your friend from that big O-N. Until next time, I'm out.